Good evening, and it brings me great pleasure to say welcome back to CrossCode. And, uh, yeah, I mean, no, it is correct. I think it's correct. It correct. Actually, let me just change the setting on my laptop before we go on. As ever, for my streams, this is very, uh, not super planned, <laughs> but it is great to be back. Uh, the break was a little bit longer than I initially meant it to be. It wound up being about a month or so. Um, time to see if your theories are correct. Oh, I... Speaking of how long the break's been, let me remind myself what your theories were. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Your theories. So, that... Uh, that one... Uh, that theory... And... That theory... Okay. <laughs> yes, I've reminded myself what your theories are and I'm still saying nothing. Is that a Zen Garden? You certainly do not see this anywhere else in the playground. Avatars would just mess it up in a heartbeat. <coughs> also, still, uh, still got a lingering cough from my cold the other week. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So, in case you don't remember, at last stream, we, uh, you know, last time, we, um, attempted to take part in a raid, but we got pulled out, uh, right as the, we were about to get, to, I think, to the boss of the raid, and, uh, pulled out, had to face an impossible boss fight, and when we lost, we got brought here. Well, I think, all oh, and, uh, we got pulled to, uh, come out of this room. <laughs> Don't die. I'm trying. Don't think I'm allowed in any of these doors. No. Makes sense. Nope. Right, this one. What is this place? Purple water. This is strange. I roughly remember something along those lines from early content production. Anyway, this is most definitely not the official playground. I will do a bit of research about this place. Hi! Hello? <laughs> Leo, you're here as well? They told me to meet up with another player. Is that you? I see. Man, this place is weird. And it looks like we're stuck here, right? At least I can't seem to teleport away. Oh, younger. I'm not even exactly sure how we ended up here. Any idea? Uh, why is he here? All will be revealed. <laughs> I mean, we don't know. <laughs> also, do let me know if the audio balance is okay. Obviously, last time I did a console stream, it was Mario 64, so... Different games, different audio. So, anyway. I guess we are both supposed to start. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we both are supposed to start a party. So shall we? All right then. There is quite the level difference between us, but I guess that's not important now. Next station will be the quest hub of this area. They want us both to show up there for a quest. It's right over there to the west. Well then, let's go. Schneider is here as well? How? Does that mean regular players can in fact access this part? But I've never heard of this area. There is no way this is official playground. I don't think I can really do much exploring right now. Alright, time to try and remember how to play. <laughs> don't go up there. There's no point. Why? 
You're new here, right? This passage will be, will be blocked for you. Nobody is certain what's beyond there anyway. That looks dangerous. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with that. <laughs> uh, I can't get them there just yet. Maybe with some jumping shenanigans, I could get in there, but. Turns out it's just Nova Zealous modder kidnapping people to test their work. <laughs> right, I just made a full circle. Blowing in the pipes. Where does it go? Hey. <clears throat> hey, welcome to the stream. <laughs> See your. Uh, oh, oh. We're back for more CrossCode, finally. It's been a little while. Let's not jump in the purple water. Sonic 2 has taught me to not, never trust purple water. Do you have anything to say? No, you don't. Right. Yep, here it is. That large building right over there. Now take the fish and cook it up in the jelly for two hours. Add the sesame, season with pepper and oregano. What happens then? Add lemon juice. Add the pineapple. Stir fry for 20 minutes. <laughs> Cover in breadcrumbs. Fry another 30 minutes. Wrap it with two layers of cheese. Deep fry for 15 minutes. No way! <laughs> Add water and bring to a boil for two hours or until soft. Mix it all up in the blender and let it cool for an hour. That's how you make the jelly. <laughs> so good. Now take the fish and cook it in the, up in the jelly for two hours. Okay, no, there, there we go. I missed the first line of it. That's certainly a recipe. <laughs> Don't go up there, they'll punch you. Again, looks dangerous. I'm going to avoid that. Else to talk to down here. Well, all trades that I can't do. <laughs> That's really helpful. Uh, what do you have to say? You look new here. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the small little hellhole. Uh, people don't seem to be very happy here. That's the quest hub. They got a holographic projector up there, just like in Rookie Harbor. Recruits, welcome to Operation Trackwalker, Subdivision Project Red. Our goal is to explore and investigate the Vermilion Wastelands and find their connection to the track. Your first task is to inspect the Southern Trial Building. It's located in the River Delta region to the south. To gain access to the building, you'll need to locate and activate these devices in the same area. That is all. Good luck and be careful. That was brief. How? How indeed. How does this connect to the rest of the lore? What even is Project Red? I wonder if Lynn would like to know anything about would know anything about this. Too bad I can't contact her, or anybody else for that matter. So I don't know what else to do, so let's just try and solve that quest, alright? In fact pretty sure. No connection. I'll take red knuckles. connection. Can't contact anyone. And really sure. Yep. No fast travel. We are stuck here. Right. That was to the south, wasn't it? I'm really good at paying attention. Uh south, yes. I can't believe we're stuck here with nothing to do. Yeah. Should we just go out and grind a bit? 
Nah, I don't feel like it. <clears throat> right. Well, new area does mean new enemy types. What are these called again? Vi oh yeah, viruses. I'm assuming they can't just log off either. Locate targets in the area. New battle theme. <laughs> huh. Guess we have to reach those glowing spots, right? Luckily, they they give us markings on the ground <laughs> to point me towards them because I already forgot where they were. Elevated. Uh, no, maybe I do have to go into the next room. Ah, let's see what I can get to over here at least. More of these guys. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, where is it? See, I'm level 38. He's level 60. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe I can be lazy and let him do all the work. <laughs> Red light, so shiny, so bright. Please take away my sight. <laughs> Why? Because I don't want to see no more. Oh yeah, the tonal shift is. Uh, it re like when I this part of the story really like really hit me in the first playthrough. Nope. Oh. Ah, gotta do some rebounding. Well, that's one da one of those. Uh, well, it was worthwhile coming down here because I needed to. Completely missed the fact I can go up on these. Right, there we go. Are they? Ooh. Oh. Ah, no. Going up there. Need have a point. Oop. There we go. I definitely helped there. Hundred <laughs> percent. Right. Come up here. Yep. Try not to fall off. where the last one is. Or maybe that was just three. I think it was just three. Okay. It's like one-shotting them. Way been kidnapped and brought to a very differently toned Hell Hells Going Real Mystery Dungeons Explorers feature arc vibes. I need to get back to Explorers one day. One day. <laughs> right, let's see. There, there, and there. Right. More glowing spots all over the place. <laughs> Where I am to 
go. Well, I guess over the bridge, because there's nothing else I can interact with. He like two shots then. <laughs> there we go. This will be one of them. First try. Nice. <laughs> that's it, that's all. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe getting to see early release Sonic. Uh, I would say I'm jealous, but at the same time, it'll probably be on a day where I can't see it, so I will just be uh, waiting for whatever the earliest day I can go and see it is. Oh, no, no, don't go to a different room. Hopefully, that didn't reset those. No. Okay, that's still not there. Yep. Isn't combat oh so much easier when uh, when you can be carried by level sixty? This one's going to be the most annoying one to hit, so... Ah, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> that should be all three. Yes. There we go. Now don't hit it to activate it. <laughs> Ugh, enough already. <laughs> it's actually help. <laughs> I mean, I helped a little. Well, let's inspect this trial building. Right, so this is a trial building. Does that mean more of those low-level virus thingies? I'm fine with those, just keep them coming. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, really. It would be troublesome if they threw high-level enemies at us now. It's better that way. Yeah, I suppose they're low level for him, they're about the right level for us. <laughs> well, I guess let's go down. <clears throat> huh, it's a new kind of virus, I guess? Right, so these ones, I believe, if I remember correctly... Well, they're still technically neutral, but uh, yeah, you kind of hit them, then they turn into antivirus. <laughs> Is the main one is shielded. Right, so you've got to kind of bounce when it's being antivirus, you've got to bounce it into an actual virus. 
to uh, neutralize it so you can uh, actually damage it. Definitely formulating new theories from these viruses. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That thing is level 60? Guess I jinxed it. But I stay near guard there. I'll try to knock it down as fast as possible. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not doing much damage to it. Yeah, I'm doing like double digits. He's doing triple and quadruple digits. <laughs> Not much point in me uh, really knowing that. I mean, I can do very minor chip damage to it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing like 30. He's doing more than 10 times the damage I am. <laughs> stay away from that. If I'm doing minuscule damage to it, yeah, it's gonna like. Oh. At least I still have my sandwiches. <laughs> I'm gonna let him deal with this. This is too high level for me. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. What was that? His attacks? That might have been his. There we go. <laughs> hey, at least I got a level up from that. <laughs> Mine, <Mein> Guter. <laughs> at least we got that out of the way. Let's go on. Now Leo knows how I felt playing as I do me and Sam when you're first getting into it. <laughs> difference with PSA 2 is it doesn't let you into areas that you can't do. Yeah, you can't see anything. So do you mind turning on the light? Thank you. Um, it's just a room? It looks like a lobby of sorts. It's strangely familiar, but I can't quite pinpoint it. This is weird. It's very weird. Why? I just don't know. Something just feels very weird. It's probably about time for me to log out. Huh. Looks like we spent enough time in the room. So what exactly was the point of all this? I really don't get this place. Let's go. Yeah, let's uh let's get out of here. Well, as out of here as we can get. <laughs> ah. To the quest hub. So I suppose we just hand in the quest to the hologram portal again. Thank you for, for, for fulfilling your objective. Please return to your room and rest for the day. Expect your next mission soon. That's got to be the laziest quest writing I've ever seen. And did I get this right? We're supposed to return to our rooms? Do they seriously assign rooms to all the players here? What is this? Some kind of prison? This is stupid. You know what? I'll just log off. Right now. Gotta look up how to get out of this place. Anyway, thanks for playing with me, Leah. See you soon. Bye. What? Am I still in the game? This can't be right. Again? Is the system broken? I'll just remove the... I... I can't remove the cross gear. What is going on here? Am I stuck in the game now or what? Wait. Hey you two, what is it with this place? At the sesame, season with pepper and oregano. Haha, <laughs> so good. Hey, are you listening to me? 
add lemon juice, add the pineapple, stir fry for 20 minutes. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? What's up, man? You, what is it with this place? Sorry, I don't know. Can't you log out either? Nope, none of us can. What? We're all stuck here. You must be joking. Let's snooze that ad. Hey, Metal Face, talk to me. Wait. Damn it, this can't be real. No, don't attack them. You shouldn't have done that. Damn it all. Let me check my TV. It is off. I just died and respawned, didn't I? Well, at least we won't die in real life when we die in game. That's something. Remember that strange feeling I mentioned before? I figured it out. I can't remember things. I can't remember what is outside the game. Is it the same for you? I see. Things are just very blurry right now. Do you think our memories will return? Did... did it already happen for you? That is... good to know. There's got to be a way out of this. There just has to be. Let's return to our rooms, okay? Maybe there's a way to properly rest in there, however that works. Leah, do I understand this correctly? All the avatars in this area cannot log out. Why? Sorry, I do not know. This is all extremely bizarre. I looked a bit into this place. Leah, is something the matter? Just go ahead, I'll tell you later. Same dialogue as before. Yeah, so uh, my room is in the building to the south. Yours too? Yeah, there's a reason I didn't answer your question, uh, Ben, about um, logging out. up here. Yours? I see. Let's try to rest and meet up tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Bye. Good night, Leah. <laughs> Looks like we're locked in again. This whole situation is getting stranger every minute. Okay, first. About this place. Vermilion Wasteland was the name, right? This place was originally developed across worlds, but the project was put on hold. They already developed a large part of the environment, but ultimately the area was never integrated into the playground. No avatar was supposed to enter this place. How? I'm wondering that too. How could those avatars end up in this place? How? Huh? You mean something else? Oh, do you wonder how I know all of this? Well, I suppose there's no point in hiding it. I am an ins I am an entertainment employee. I have been involved in the creation of Crossworlds for many years already. That is why I have access to internal documents. Some of them, at least. Still, I was not aware that development of this region had continued in any way. This place should be abandoned, for all I know. I mean... It is possible this is a confidential product or a project we're not supposed to know about, but I highly doubt that. The fact that the avatars here cannot seem to log out is even more strange. And their loss of memory as well. Wait. Hmm? Yes, just like you, Leah. Their situation is very similar to yours. But I doubt these players are all in a coma. Why? Leah, there is something I... No. S sorry. I think I just misunderstood something. 
Why? Anyway, there's nothing we can do in this room. So I suggest we call it a day, alright? Wait. Why? Leah, please. There is nothing left to talk about. Bye. Good night. <sighs> Try and snooze the next ad break. Maybe I should turn off mid rolls for these streams. So, how is it going so far? First results are pretty positive. He recognised her immediately. Otherwise, he recalls things more quickly, I think. Good. Please keep a close eye on them. If you remember, that is the guy who came and talked to us right at the end of last stream. Oh, you're awake? You looked so peaceful while you were sleeping. I didn't want to wake you up. Anyway, shall we revisit the lesson from yesterday? Hello. Probably not meant to be that nonchalant. <laughs> Long time no see. They denied my proposal. Again. Damn it, I'm here to come up with interesting game scenarios and challenges. I need a little bit of creative freedom to do my job. I even looked up the pronunciation. Go, go, go. Gotham, Gotham, Gotham. That is what teamwork is all about. You have to find a compromise. I'm terrible with pronouncing names. <laughs> the best we'll ever get is mediocrity in that way. There are too many conventional thinkers in this company. Right, Satoshi? What can I say? They just want to keep making the games they know. They have a genius like you on board and don't make proper use of it. Rejecting your big AI project proposal? Well, to be honest, that went way beyond what you would need for a game like Crossworlds. Are you sure? I think there are a lot of applications. In fact, I'm currently working on a list of them. So you plan to pitch the idea to them again? Of course I will. It's just way too promising. What? I don't work that much, really. And I do it because it's what I want to do. No need to worry. You should listen to your dear caring sister, Mr. Workaholic. You too, Sergey. Wait. Oh, good morning, Lou. Did you have another dream? Good. Did you remember something new? Was it another place? Oh, was it a person? That is new. Okay, who could it be? Was it an avatar? Somebody logged into Crossworlds? Okay, not a player then. Was it Gotham by any chance? Of course, you saw him yesterday. You, this may be. Of course, you saw him yesterday. This must have triggered the memory. Did you see any other, anybody else? <laughs> you... you saw me? Hmm. Was there a third person? Black, messy hair, lean figure? That must have been Satoshi. Satoshi? Uh, names. <laughs> Satoshi, Satoshi. I'm mainly thinking of how his name is pronounced in Pokemon. <laughs> About, you know, Ash's Japanese name in Pokemon. <laughs> okay, Leah. I think now is the right time to tell you more about yourself. Yes. I do know a few things about you. We knew each other in the past. However, I thought it was safest for you to recover your memories by yourself. After all, this is a, this is part of your healing process. Anyway, if you remember Gotham, Satoshi, and me, this must have been from around five years ago. Back then, all of us were employees of Entertainment. That is right, we were all inv involved in the development of Crossworlds. And Satoshi, he is your brother. I'm sure you'll remember more about him soon. Anyway, about four years ago, all three of you went missing. Nobody knew exactly what happened to you. There was no way to track you down. And believe me, I tried. That was until I found you again, lying in a hospital. 
And with you being awake in Crossworlds, your memories are my only lead to Satoshi and the others. I want to get you to wake up, and I want to find out exactly what has happened to you and the others. Whatever did happen, I'm sure it has to do with this place. I get the feeling we are very close to the answers. Oh yes, it looks like the door was unlocked some time ago. In fact, I'm a bit late with your login. Something was holding me up again. Lucas is probably waiting for you outside. Oh. <laughs> More story. <laughs> ah, there you are. Hi. I've been waiting for you. Looks like you had your fair share of beauty sleep. <laughs> well, I mean, it does feel nice sleeping once you log out, right? I'm just glad they allow you to do that once you enter your room. I really needed the break after what happened yesterday. I sure lost my nerves, didn't I? Not very proud of that. I'm really impressed how well you're taking all of this. Anyway, let's go to the hub again. They won't let me take today's quest unless I form a party with you. Well, that was uh, a little info dump there. All right, ready to get to, ready to get today's quest. And as to uh, is she the girl from the start? Again, all will be revealed. Recruits, welcome back to Project Red. Today we don't have any particular task for you. Feel free to explore the area and go back to your room if you want to rest. That is all. Good luck and be careful. That's even more of a nothing burger than before. <laughs> Wait, that's all? They just want us to walk around and that's it? Oh, younger. Seriously, this campaign is the worst. Actually, I had a look around before and I found a few nice places. So, since there's nothing to do, do you want me to show you around? Alright then, follow me. If you remember, from the beginning, the very beginning of the game, yeah, he is the one who gave us the tour of Rookie Harbour. Well then, welcome to my little Vermilion Wasteland tour. I will show you all the remarkable sights of this truly underappreciated landscape. Please come this way. Nice little callback to the start of the game. <laughs> Here we are in the town centre. The town doesn't really have a name, so let's just, just stick with Vermilion Town for now. Vermilion Town, home of the metal blocks and endless pipes. Nobody actually knows what's in the pipes, though. We're probably best off not knowing. Vermilion Town is also home of these friendly metal armoured fellows. Like most folks, they don't like to be hit. They really don't like it. <laughs> but what am I saying? You saw that what happened yesterday. Also be especially careful about that area in the north. They really don't like you to be there. Then again, folks are talking about some nice treasure you can get when you manage to sneak past them. Now, let's exit the town to the west. It's getting a little bit cold in here. So, we're just out of town and oh look! It's one of those devices. Yet, the almighty plot decided we're not ready to proceed so these things remain unresponsive. Nothing to do here, so let's appreciate the amazing nature of this place. This way. This is a lake. <gasps> Why? <laughs> because it's filled with water, or whatever that purple stuff is. Why? Sorry, this tour doesn't include basic scientific explanations. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what a tough customer. I'm sure Tronny would have a good explanation for you. And he'd probably also complain about those weird rock formations. Let's continue. Off to the north. Be careful not to step on a virus along the way. I presume by north he means up this way. Now we enter the realm of Ebony Forest. As expected, it's full of trees. Yet there are no evil wolves in this forest, it's just viruses as always. 
Also, no bugs. I'm sure Emily would be glad to hear that. Seriously, though, Emily and her fear of bugs. I don't quite get it. She made such a huge deal out of the Fajra Temple boss. That giant moth, right? But when I asked her about the myth boss, that ant lion, no problem there. How? Yeah, apparently it's all good because it's slow and stuck in the sand. Personally, I thought the ant lion was much higher on the scary scale. Right, well, that's Emily for you. Let's continue. Over there is a pretty interesting spot. How much of this can I get done before the ad? I call this here the Field of the Indecisive Flowers. Indecisive because they can't decide on what height to grow. I mean, just look at them. Some are stuck on ground level, others several metres high. Why? Look, I can't even explain a leak to you, so what do you expect now? Anyway, those flowers are awfully convenient for an elaborate jumping path, don't you think? I mean, this wouldn't be Crossworlds without unlikely jumping paths literally everywhere. The only thing I'm missing here is the treasure chest to collect. So I suppose we can both guess when those flowers will come into play. Enough of this forest, let's go back to the lake. There's one more location I want to show you. Right, well... Let's uh, head back there not too quickly, because there's an ad. And during the ad break, we could grab a jumper, because it's uh, quite... Alright, our final sight will be further in the west. Yeah, it's getting quite cold in this room, so... Uh, yeah. Where's the camera toggle? Nope. Oh, the background of my camera is uh, my room. Uh, that's not really what I want. Uh, where's the webcam? See, it's because when I was trying to do the fake green screen thing. Fake green screen. Turn that off. Camera toggle, there we go. Yeah, I'm just going to put a jumper on, because it's getting quite cold in this room. The uh, mic is still on though, so uh, I guess I'll keep talking while I uh, figure a way out of my seating arrangement to get a jumper on. Oh. You would think such a tiny room uh, would be fairly warm when I literally have got a gaming laptop and a TV and a games console all running a live stream, but uh, no, apparently uh, it's still quite cold in here. Despite that, I suppose the laptop isn't running full tilt. The fans are not particularly spinning up fast, so I can't imagine the laptop's getting that hot. That is the benefit of this, uh, I say new, but it's now probably a few months old, uh, laptop. It doesn't uh, run the fans at full tilt all the time, like my old one did. My old one, uh, all you had to do was log into Windows and the fans would be uh, going all out. Uh, anyway, this is just entirely for the content. For me to talk about nonsense while I put a jumper on and let an ad break run. Perhaps all future story-heavy crosscode streams Maybe I should temporarily disable mid-rolls. I don't know. Because I like the idea of mid-rolls in general. Because then people who have the right setup, people can know when the ads are. Uh, rather than just being bombarded with one as soon as you uh, load into or refresh the stream. It's the one uh, downside to the pre-rolls. It's like, you don't get interrupted, but you do get bombarded with one at the start. And it's one of those kind of like lesser of two evils. You go decide which one's better for you, I suppose. Anyways, the ad's nearly over. I'm nearly comfortable again. Uh, pull this jumper a bit further down, so I'm actually wearing it properly. And here we go, the uh, Sonic Symphony hoodie. That was over a year ago now, the, uh, Lon the first London show, and uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> right, I need to go to the lake, don't I? I think that's what he said. Further to the west. Ah, 
And this is the cliffside. It's where you realise that this place is actually pretty small. And yes, there is indeed no exit. Well, actually, there is that one door just over here. Yep, it's a door. I have no idea where it leads, but it's as close as it gets to an exit. But of course, it's locked. <coughs> hmm. I didn't plan to end the tour on such a depressing note. Actually, now that I think about it, there is one more thing I'd like to show you. We'll have to run back all the way to the East Town, though. What, is the old granny tired already? Are there any random jumping puzzles that I can do right now? I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh. to wait for the other one to spit out another virus then. There we go. I don't know what doing that did. Oh. Popped up a little pillar. This isn't really related to uh... <laughs> anything, but uh... Alright, knock you into you, attempt to anyway. You know what, this seems like a very long jumping puzzle, and I'm not sure if I can be bothered to do this right now. <laughs> I don't even know where it starts. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure where it starts. I think let's just head back to the town and uh, finish up the tour. <laughs> chest. Oh. Right, let's try and do that again, <laughs> but better. Right, let's actually... There we go actually get across this time. Infected cell times five. Sounds like a really good item to have. An infected cell. Lovely. Alright, go all the way to the east. Here we go. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. This is the last thing I want to show you today. I know it's hard to miss. It's the huge tower up there. Some of the other players here told me about it. it. Seems like there is a way to get up to this tower. Some of our fellow inmates went there and never came back. So that can mean two things. Either they escaped or they just disappeared. Anyway, you can only get there once you've finished the second trial building. Let's hope they'll give us the quest for that soon. And yes, this concludes today's tour. It sure was pointless, but I still hope you had a good time. <laughs> First Ricky Harbour, now Vermilion Wasteland. Guess I should think about a career as a tour guide. Unless I'm already doing that in real life. I still don't remember much about my life outside of Crossworlds. Wait. Do you mean it will come back? Will it all come back? Yeah. 
Hmm, do you mean it will all come with time? I sure hope so. Now then, anything else today? We can still have a look around, otherwise I'm ready to hit the hay. We'll have a brief look around, but I'm not sure how much I can achieve at the moment. To be completely honest. And yes, that is a very cool shot. Um, screenshotted it like straight away when I first played. Yeah, can't really do much at the moment with those <coughs> those uh, robot guys in the way. I guess we'll just head back to our rooms then. There really isn't much else going on here. <clears throat> Alright, guess that's all for today. See you soon. Bye. Good night. So we are back in the room. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all of this. Why are these players stuck in this place? And why did they all lose their memory? Just what exactly is the whole point of this place? And just how in the world can all of this happen without anything being reported? Wait. Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? Um... Oh! You mean I could report all of this? Theoretically, yes but that would be a bad idea. Why? Because what we both are doing here is unofficial. At least, I do not have the approval of the company to log you into Crossworlds. I essentially snuck you into the game. That is ex exactly why we had to be careful to not draw too much attention. And that is also why I cannot afford to act carelessly when tampering with the game's system. Crossworlds is designed with an insane amount of security checks to prevent cheating and other kinds of abuse. Even simple things like moving you out of this place, it will very quickly lead to a ban. There are ways to get around these checks, but my options are very limited right now. Because I do not have access to the environment server of this region. Really, nobody should have access to it because this area was discontinued. Still, I am looking for a way to get you out of this. It will be tricky, but it is definitely possible. Shall we call it today? Okay, good night, Leah. Bye! <clears throat> well, that tour with the uh, because there's a little bit of brevity in there. Otherwise, a uh, very bleak situation. Here we are. They call it the field of the indecisive flowers. <laughs> you like this place, don't you? I suppose it's as good as it gets for a bleak location like this. It definitely beats being stuck in that one room all the time. It would be nice to show you all the other places out there. Someday. <clears throat> Good morning, Leah. Hi. So, anything new you remembered? Okay, I see. Well then, time to head out, correct? Wait, wasn't the door opened just before? Why? Um... Here we go. <laughs> what is going on here? Some kind of fight? Why? Did the players here start a rebellion of sorts? Shizuka, you you are still so you're back again. Hi? What is this? You can speak now? Why? Why? That's what I want to ask. Why are you here? You were supposed to be gone. 
Not very talkative after all, I see. When was the last time you met? A year ago? You don't remember, do you? Of course not. They tried to undo everything. Tried to fix you. All the lengths they went through for you. I just don't get it. Why? Shut your mouth! Well then, allow me to refresh your memory. I don't know exactly what exactly they told you. About who you are, why you are here, and where those memories come from. Whatever they told you, it's a lie. Shizuka, please don't. Seeing me feel, might feel strange to you, like looking into a mirror. That's no coincidence. It's because we're the same person. No, that's not right. We're not the same. I am the original. You were just a copy. A copy of my avatar, that's what. You're an AI. Program. Nothing else. That's why you'll never be able to leave the game. You can deny it all you want. It won't change anything. The more you remember, the more it will become clear to you. And all those memories you see? Those are mine. My memories. My personality. It's all copied. The next big step in artificial intelligence is what they call you. What a joke. A miserable copy. That's all. That's what you are. Why? Shut up. We all ended up in this hell because of you. And for what? A program with access to all of my memories? Just how the hell did they ever think this was a good idea? Why? I said, shut up. You talking was the last thing I needed. You have no right to exist. Whoever brought you back should just delete you immediately. Well then, have a nice day. Why? Why? No. Why? Leah, please. Why? Leah, please calm down. Why? Sh Shizuka was just lying. You do not have to. You must not believe her. Why? Nothing is working. She isn't responding. Why? Leah, can you still hear me? Why? Leah, please, you have to get over this. Why? I cannot afford to lose you. Please. Why? You are the only lead I have. Please. All I can tell you is that there is no, there, there is hope. Leah? Bye. Do, do you want to log out? Leah? Bye. Leah, what is... Bye. Leah, please. Bye! Leah, please let me explain. Bye! 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 Okay. I will be quiet. And that, my friends, is what we call a wham moment, or wham episode, or wham whatever. Can't remember if we. No. We do not go and find Lucas in his room. <sighs> I was wondering if this moment would come in this stream. This is the uh, part of the game where, I mean, I was already enjoying it, but this is when it really started to, 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 uh, to sort of, everything really starts sort of hitting hard. Let's continue. Hey. Um, good morning. Hi. Did you also hear the alarm from before? I wondered what just happened. It sounded like someone was fighting with the dormitory. Or within the dormitory. Um, is everything okay? You don't look too well today. Did something happen? Um, should we go to the quest hub for today's quest? Okay. So, 
So what happened? Did you have a bad dream? Who am I kidding? Notice the lack of music. The, the walking is just me though, you can't run. But I, I, don't know, I feel like it's more appropriate to walk right now. The tarot is waiting. Are you really sure you want to go there? I have a really bad feeling about this. What else is there to do? I feel like walking feels a little more appropriate. Maybe a, maybe a faster walk though. <laughs> yeah, note the lack of music. Okay, time to enter space again. Recruits, welcome back to Project Red. Today we have a new mission for you. Your task is to inspect the Northern Trial building. To gain access to the building, you need to locate and activate these devices in the lake and forest region to the west. That is all. Good luck and be careful. Dust dry as usual. Well, at least we got a proper quest today. Note the lack of music. Obviously, music can make a great impact to a, to a story moment in the game. This shows just how well the lack of music can also work. Look, it's clear something isn't quite right with you. Should we somehow try to talk about it? No? Or should we we'll just go ahead and solve today's quest? Okay. And well, for the most part, her uh, Leah's unchanging expression. Yeah, and when I got to this part on my first playthrough, I was glued to the screen pretty much. You're so quiet today, even for your standards. Yeah, I was pretty much glued to the screen here, and you to see what happened next. <coughs> right, let's find these targets. Let's try, try and take our mind off things, perhaps. If I can figure out where we start from, anyway. This sounds like this looks like a promising start point. Oh, maybe this part isn't well. Might be able to get a chest here, actually. Yes, we can, maybe. There we go. So yeah, it looks like we've uh, been lied to a lot of the time. <laughs> Not just once, but um, multiple times, you know. First told that we, uh, just that we'd lost our memories. Then told that we're in a coma. Now, well, if she is good as to be believed, none of that was true. Right, where do I go here to get up? Uh, not there, because that just takes me round. Uh, maybe it, maybe yes here? No. Mm. Hold that thought. Uh, uh, is that any? Yeah, that's just a chest, isn't it? Mm, I don't think that 
gets me anywhere close enough to be able to jump across. No. Right, if it's all within this room, I guess if I go down here, something will happen. Yeah, there we go. Not even any battle music. Second switch. Right, perhaps if we come back over here, that grants us passage to that. No, it won't. Uh, right, how do I get over there? It's going to be up there. I reckon. Let's just figure out how to get up there. Mm. Maybe it involves... Mm. Ah. This is probably how. Yes, here we go. I thought I needed to ricochet. <laughs> the answer was no. That's one activated. And where was the other? In the forest, which was to the north, wasn't it? Is there really nothing else you'd like to do? Leah? Alright, let's find these switches. Or, oh, I suppose more accurately, the glowing spots. Must leave. Leave. Please let me leave. That's not going to help. And I don't know if this actually leads me to one of those things, but... It would stand to reason that it probably does. It's a very obvious jumping puzzle. Don't run right off the side there. In fact, yes it does. Right. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I probably want to freeze it more like that. There we go. Get the rebound. to be where these uh, things come into play that he showed bef off before. Don't fall off them, that will not help matters. Maybe if I take long enough doing this before we get to the next uh, story bit. I told you we'd be jumping over these flowers. And he's trying. That's uh, not at the same height, is it? <laughs> if I can postpone the next story bit until after the next ad. Okay, not all of these falling off are on purpose.
you know what? This is not a very good place to fight these things in. There we go. Yeah, it was not a very good place to fight that in. <laughs> I couldn't bounce the antivirus into it. Upwards. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That actually wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I know I said I'm going to try and stall for time a bit with the ad before the next story bit, but that genuinely wasn't on purpose. <laughs> right, let's. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> the perspective does sometimes cause this to happen. <laughs> it's mainly a, it's mainly a problem when you're looking at, say, an area like this, and it's like you kind of have to take a moment and think about the height of the different things you're jumping on. Well, obviously, with the perspective, it looks like you could jump from here to here, but you can't because, you know, the one underneath is higher up. That's so why some people will, will say, sort of, aim, because if you see a bounce off, you know that it's higher than you. You know what I was saying earlier about the laptop there not being loud? It's now just kicked in. Hmm. The idea of Twitch running an ad is just that uh, repulsive to it or something. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. Is that all three switches of this, or...? No. Where's the last one? Up there, right. How does one get up there? Possibly by going this way? Most likely by going this way. Start an enemy fight. Alright. And is in progress while I solve this final puzzle here. Um, this doesn't go anywhere, does it? No, it doesn't. So I probably shouldn't go that way. There we go. Raise the bridge. That's timed. That will be the last one. Maybe that's meant to be the first one you do, because that was the easiest one. Let's kill some time by fighting some enemies. Wait until the ad's done. There's not a good place for that to, to be, really. I am. Oh, that's nearly killed me. Whoops. Oh, that's brought back the music. That's mildly ruined the moment. <laughs> I guess they don't intend you to do combat and die. Oh, I've got to do these again. I no. Hold on. Can I kill the music? No. I've got to do these again. I didn't realise dying would make me have to do these again. That's annoying. Well, I guess we have music for this now. Not really what I intended.
Well, let's let's quickly solve these again then. I know what I'm doing now, so it shouldn't hopefully take too long. Well. One down. Oh, no, can't jump too fast there. Or too far, even. But hopefully the uh, jumping puzzle down at the bottom doesn't take me like five tries this time. Right, down. Left. them to be like that. Do a little owl. Nope, that's not not like that. Like that. And then down here. Hopefully it's going to Hopefully it's going to stop the music uh, inappropriate for cutscenes. I don't know if I could reload the save. Well, by dying it has reloaded the save, so I'll probably do the same if I try to reload the save. Accidental diversion <laughs> out of the way. Okay, here we go again. Huh? Enemies already? Let's enter the damn building first. Again, I'm not sure if there's meant to. I think normally there wouldn't be music playing here. But I messed it up by dying. I guess the game doesn't expect that. Finally. So, should we enter? Honestly, I don't have a good feeling about this. There will probably be more high level enemies in there. And with you being like this today... Should we continue another time? There's no reason to rush this, right? It really would help if you just spawned at all. I mean, I understand why you'd feel down in a situation like this, but things don't have to stay that way. I'm sure we'll find a way out of, the, out, out of this place, out of this game. We just shouldn't lose hope. Where? Oh. Oh. probably would have been more powerful if the music was not playing as it was meant to be. The view here isn't all that bad, hmm? Okay, look. I can't keep watching you like this. There must be a way to help you out of this. We've got to try to talk about this, somehow. I'll just ask some questions, okay? Okay, let's see. I suppose you remembered something about yourself. Something that made you sad? Okay, so what could it be? Did you lose somebody dear to you? Did somebody betray you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And just and just what did this person exactly do to you? Are all your troubles because of that person? So there is something else. Man, this is hard. I wonder how the others are doing. Lynn, Buggy, Emily, all of them. Seems like you got along quite well with Emily and Tronny, didn't you? So, I'm sure we'll be missed. In difficult times like these, it's good to know there are people out there that care for you. Even though it looks like we're on our own for now. I 
I think it's probably better if we call it a day. Let's finish the trial building tomorrow, okay? Alright then, back to the dormitory. I genuinely had some slight tears coming up there. <laughs> I was wondering if uh, this bit would make me cry on stream, and the answer was nearly. You were saying earlier you know, about the um, sprite work being good, and th that scene as well, just, you know, absolutely fantastic sprite art. For a character that barely talks, you really get to feel her emotions. So... I guess this is where we split. Will you be okay by yourself? Things will work out. Good night, Leah. Bye. Leah? Bye. Leah, please give me a chance to explain. Bye! I'm just glad that you seem to be getting through this. Good night, Leah. Understandably mad at him. Very understandably. Hello there, Leah. How are your hands doing today? <laughs> Sorry. It's not as painful as it looks, I swear. Again with the weird hand tricks, Tronny? What? I'm just fascinated by how well it's synchronised. You don't have to make these creepy shapes to prove it. Come on, let's go. Oh man, not looking forward to that jungle. You know, those places are usually filled with insects and bugs. Please don't let me go there alone, Leah. Leah, is everything alright? Lee, why are you sitting here like that? You know, if something is bothering you, you can just tell us about it. That's what friends are for, right? Hi. Ah, good morning. Feeling better today? A little bit? That's good. So, should we finish that trial building today? Alright, let's do it. So you might remember that uh, one of the things Shizuka was, ang was angrily ranting about was all those dreams were her memories. Well, let's see. Take note of who was in, the, those, in that dream. Alright, time to remember where that means up here, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, ordinarily, this would have been when the music returns. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, I mucked it up. <laughs> here we are, for real this time. They might throw another high-level enemy at us, so better keep your guard up. Can't wait to see what kind of room they'll show us this time. Right, down we go. Alright, again time to clean up the small fry first. 
Oh yeah. Nope. Fire is down. Here we go. Be careful, Leah. Again. Level 60! Ouch. Uh, switch to ice because, uh, cold, um, whatever it's actually called. Because that's more defensive than fire than the heat is. Yeah, again, there's not much I can do. He's doing triple and quadruple damage, like, digits damage. It does quadruple damage to me. I do. I think double digits if I'm lucky. I do, I do a lot of ones and zeros there. Yeah, let's leave it to him. Also. Yeah. Weak to an element I don't have. Well, and an element I have, but. Uh... That little good that's going to do to me, I reckon. Oh. I, I did like seven damage total there. Level up. Phew, got that one down. I don't think I've ever seen an enemy like this. Scary stuff. Well then, let's go on. <coughs> oh. Right, let there be light. What is this room? Oh, oh no. Um, yeah, I sure wonder what room this is. I certainly don't remember. Wait, what? <laughs> My room? This? Never. <laughs> What? Just because my name is written in that letter? <laughs> that could be anyone named Lucas. <laughs> I don't think Leah's buying that either. <laughs> Alright, I give in. It's my room. <laughs> I know it's messy. It's not always like this, I swear. Please don't judge. <laughs> Please, you're judging way too hard. <laughs> No, don't go over there. This is the worst. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Come on, we've seen enough. Let's go. <laughs> Leah, please. <laughs> Beating on that rhino thing just to see such a place. I can't believe it. How the hell do they know, even know what my room looks like? Why would they put that kind of reconstruction in this place? Anyway, I seem to remember a little more now. Like, the place I live at, the place I work at. What was the name of the company again? Anyway, I think I worked in the IT department. Still, it still feels very strange. Like, why did I forget all of this suddenly? You know, I had a pretty scary thought. I'm spending all of my time in this game now. The only thing left from my real life are those memories that are slowly returning. But what? What if there is no real life anymore? What if we're just stuck in this game forever? Is... is this maybe the feeling you had yesterday? I see. Well, here's the thing though. Why does it matter? Does that make our lives any less meaningful? We don't know why we're stuck in this game. But honestly, we don't even know why we live in the first place. So we're either stuck in this game or stuck in real life. What's the big difference? Is it so strange thinking that way? <laughs> oh well. I think what's important is that it's a life worth living. And being stuck in this game isn't the worst fate imaginable, now is it? 
We're not alone. We are friends in this world. And heck, I know a few people that would be happy being logged into Crossworlds permanently. <laughs> so it's not all bad, is it? Especially if we get out of this place. This place kind of sucks, honestly. Now that I think about it, my room fits in pretty well. <laughs> well then, let's hand in that quest already. I think she needed a good laugh after what she's been through. <laughs> but she was like, la I, you know, I don't know if you saw with, with the uh, <laughs> sprite animations, but she was like laughing so hard she was like leaning on his bed because <laughs> she was like laughing that hard. Like, people who make like great sprite animations, it's like, it's such a great like, Sort of, that's you know, really good sort of skill because it's like you know, being able to pack sort of detail and character into such a small amount of with such a small amount of detail to work with. Thank you for fulfilling your objective. Please return to your room and rest for the day. Expect your next mission soon. Thanks, Chief. Bye. <laughs> well then, we're free to go to the tower now. I don't know about you, but I'd rather sleep another night before we go there. Who knows what will await us in there, right? It might take some time. Alright then, let's head to the dormitory one last time. There we go, thanks for stream. Uh, thanks for uh, being able to enter. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, as said, this stream might not be on for super much longer. Um, not sure. Not sure if I have time to do the stuff that's in the tower or tonight. Might have to leave that for next time. So I can't remember how long that takes, and it's already twenty to ten now. So uh, yeah, might actually be a slightly short slash abrupt ending potentially. Oh, I'm sure I could probably take up some time if I go to chatting and just ramble a bit <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> okay then. I hope you can still sleep well after. I hope you can still sleep well after you saw the nightmare that is my flat. Make sure you're well rested for tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Hi? Wait. Bye. Dream time again. Let me tell you a little trick about conversations. People, they like to share their stories. So if you want to be on their good side, listen to them. Add a few comments, ask questions, let them know you're interested. Keep the conversation flowing naturally, but let them do the talking. That's how people enjoy your company. However, none of this works if the other person can't talk. I found that out the hard way when I met her. She could only listen, very much like you. So for once, I had to do the talking. Talking about myself. I'm sorry about what happened the day before yesterday. This was not planned, 
nor intended. Why? That's right, you can say a few words now. Well then, do you mind telling me something? Who exactly put you back into the game? I suppose you won't find the right words for that. Never mind then. We'll find that person sooner or later. Goodbye. Bye. Hi? Hi? Leah. Don't worry, things are fine on my side. However, at the moment I cannot talk to you like usual. For now, please go to the tower as you planned with Lucas. I will try to get you both out of this place. Until then. Hi. Good morning, Leah. So, are you ready for the tower? Oh well, let's do this. Ah yes. Going straight upwards will definitely not work. No way we'll get past those guards. But, I was told there was a secret route in the Upper East over here. Or over there. We might have to do a bit of climbing to get through there, but it should be possible. Also, once we reach the tower, there might be no turning back. If there is something you still want to do in this hellhole, you should do it now. There are technically chests and stuff we could grab, but uh, I'm not sure how much I could be bothered. Maybe a little bit, but... Uh... I don't know what going up here achieves. But yeah. I reckon the uh, whole tower section, that will wait until next time, I think. Because uh, that's going to take more than uh, the amount of time I got left on stream tonight. Alright, this is how I get over this area. Cool. Well, I'll leave that unlocked. Well, I've unlocked that, so that's fine. And yes, he is new. But he does seem to know who we are. I wonder if I can sneak around. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> I just want to see if I can grab that chest. But the answer's probably not. Oh, well, actually, maybe. Let's see. Well, that gained us this chest here. see me. Oh, never mind, it saw me. Uh-oh. 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 No! <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> well, I got the chest. Well, a chest. Um... Can I be bothered to try and get over there? I'll give it one more go. Let's give it another go. I guess they do possess the ability to look up and down. <laughs> I guess they know what a um Well it was supposed to be called the Y axis really. Oh Z axis. Hi. 
please leave me alone. Good talk. Good talk. I think I can get to that chest that I saw. Going around here. Yes. Vermilion Mantle. That's a hat, wasn't it? No? Is that a body? There's body. Ooh, that gets me... The minus is a bit of a tank of defense, but it does plus a bunch of other stuff. Plus a bunch of stuff, but it also does minus those. <laughs> well, I really need is better hats than shoes. It's better hats than shoes, but we'll see. Actually, I say well, there is a shop here. Uh, let's see if I can get anything from the shop before before I close the game. Training, I suppose. No. Don't have any steel boots, though. No. Well, <clears throat> I had the materials apart from like the base sort of material. So. That's something, I guess. Can I get that bronze chest, I wonder? The answer is maybe. Pipes everywhere. Pipes are the best. Pipes! Well, did he work the aspect in like the 90s when they were making their Sonic games that had like tons of pipes in them? Space! Space! Right, well I think there's, this is as good a time as any to uh, finish up there. Let's just head to the chatting screen. So, uh, oh, oh, ads in progress, whatever. Ben's, Ben's here, he doesn't get ads. Save the game again, because I don't trust myself. Eventful stream. Yes, indeed. I couldn't remember just how much, how quickly things happened in Vermilion Wasteland, but uh, fairly quickly. So yeah. This was the point of the game where it really, really got its hooks in me. You know, because obviously up until you get here, you know, you're going sort of through the motions, you know, in, not quite going through the motions, but you know, you're sort of you're going through cross worlds, you know, with friends you've made, pretty standard, you know, good stuff, you know, well written characters, all that stuff, good commitment to world building, of being in you know, a game in a game, you know, a few mysteries, you know, regarding Le who Leah is, you know, slowly told to you. You get here, and Basically, a lot of what you've been told so far is a lie. Obviously, we'll get more into it as we get further through the story, but, uh, yeah. Not in a coma. Uh, you know. We are 
a copy in some way. Yeah, a lot of those memories we saw, were they ours? Was she lying? Was she telling us the whole truth? Was she telling us partly the truth? Well, we know she's very angry. <laughs> very angry at, at Leah's existence. And, and again, like I said, I mucked it up by dying, but um, that whole segment where there's no music, the sprite art for Leah, the absence of music, you know, it culminates to such like a moment that really hit me emotionally. I mean, like I said, today, not very like there were. A few small, <clears throat> a few small tears falling there. <laughs> Didn't quite get to the point of crying on stream, but uh, the closest I have come. You know, a lot of the stuff that's shown up in the game thus far. You know, you know, you could probably see in some other games, but uh, this part of the story is where things really start. Uh, it really starts picking up and really shows. You know, really. Like, I, I don't want to say, you know, I don't want to use the term gets good because it was already good, but, you know. It's when it really, like, obviously it already had its hooks in me, but this is when, like, those hooks dug in <laughs> on my first playthrough. Like I said, I was basically glued to the screen. I had to see, I had to see where things were going. Why am I picking up the controller? I don't need it. <laughs> oh. So, yes. It is good to be back though, uh, and... So next time on CrossCode, we will be going up that tower, seeing what awaits. And uh, yeah, I mean, Sergei still seems to be planning something in the background, as ever. Uh, hopefully to try and get us out of this horrible place. Um, so, that should all being well, that should be happening Tuesday. Uh, we're back. We're I mean, we kind of already were, but we're fully back on the two on the you know, crosscode every other Tuesday. PSO two every other other every other other Tuesday. Uh, I want to get get the ball rolling, so we're doing two crosscodes in a row. It will mean a bit of a gap between PSO two, but whatever. I feel like this is the important stuff right now, and a little I guess bit of since I'm basically back properly from the little weird break period, but also not a break because I only didn't stream when I was ill. Um, yeah, just to let you know what I've kind of in my head got planning for the future, especially given everyone else is kind of on hiatus. <laughs> it's all kind of up to me to pick up the slack in a way for, you know, for our little uh, streaming group. So yes, CrossCode will be continuing. Um, <clears throat> no more breaks for uh, for a little while in CrossCode. Um, so yeah, this is going to be continuing on its uh, you know sun on Sundays and stuff. Although next, I think you prefer the term relaxing break. <laughs> Although next Sunday, I there is a very high chance I will not be streaming. Uh, I might be going out to the cinema uh, next Sunday. Um, but I will let you know when that is confirmed. Um, so yeah, we will be on the Sunday's cross code every other Tuesday. You know, then yeah, Fortnite be Tuesday like cross code PSA two, cross code PSA two. Um, obviously this Thursday we've got the Minecraft collab that should hopefully all work fine. Um, I, last Tuesday's stream was Minecraft, basically to test the waters, make sure my laptop didn't do anything weird while streaming Minecraft with the ray tracing on. And uh, yeah, when it, like I said, not going to be for a little while, but when the next crosscode break does come, uh, my plan is to do shadow generations. Uh, I'm sure you know, I absolutely am loving shadow generations. Probably going to be my game of the year this year. Um, I'm sure we'll do our usual collecting our games of the year thoughts. 
But yeah, it's probably going to be my game of the year this year already, I can kind of tell. <laughs> I'm very looking forward to, to eventually getting around to showing that off. Partly why I was looking forward to getting back to CrossCode, although obviously I was looking forward to getting back to CrossCode for CrossCode itself. Um, but yeah, when the next CrossCode break comes, that will be Shadow Generations. I'm already formulating plans in my head of just how I want to show it off, just because I, I like it that much <laughs> that I want to make sure I show it off well. Possibly we'll even do Sonic a redo of Sonic Generations just to get us up to you know just get people back up to speed on how Sonic Generations goes. Perhaps you and probably using the remaster to show that off as well. Even though I kind of did for with the mission mode, like with the missions roundup I did the other day. And uh, what am I seeing? Uh, I've been going with my uh, family to see the uh, new Paddington movie. I really like the first two. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, just wholesome, you know, wholesome movies. Obviously in December, at some point, Sonic 3. So, uh, whatever Sunday that is, it's going to be close to Christmas anyway, so it probably wouldn't be streaming anyway, but... <laughs> Whatever Sunday that is, if I wasn't already not streaming, then yeah, I'll be seeing Sonic 3 at some point in December. But like I said, that's going to be really close to Christmas, so uh, that uh, probably wasn't going to be a stream anyway. Yes, and uh, for CrossCode, don't know how long this next season of CrossCode is going to take. Um, I I'm not going to be able to tell <laughs> until I get closer to the, <laughs> to the next stopping point. Um, I mean, I guess, spoilers, uh, I think I've said before, the stopping point is going to be the end of the main story. Um, to beat the game, I guess. Yeah, like the yeah, next stopping point is going to be the end of the main story. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, so the break is going to be between main story and the DLC campaign. I'm doing a lot of hand gestures today. But uh, yeah, I don't remember, I, well, not, not that I don't remember, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the rest of the game. Uh, especially depends on how many quests and whatnot I decide to do. I've been doing all of them so far, but will that continue? Who knows? Definitely not getting all the chests. That sounds like a pain. <laughs> I love this game, but I'm not going to 100% it. I 100% games that are short and easier to 100%, like Sonic games. <laughs> they are often short and easy to 100%. <laughs> Can be hard to focus on quests when the story picks up. I mean, here there are no quests anyway. There have been no side quests in Vermilion Wasteland. This is an entirely story-focused section of the game. There, uh, this chapter. There are. It's like the opposite of like that point in Xenoblade 3 where it gives you like a billion side quests. There's like zero here. You can't do any <laughs> because you're stuck in Vermilion Wasteland, and they don't give you any side quests. But uh, yeah, I think that's all for streaming plans though. Crosscode is going to be basically the main focus going forward as it was. Uh, PSO2 every other Tuesday. Um, I'll, eventually I'll pick up the main story, I'll pick up the story in PSO2 at some point. At some point. Eventually. And yeah, we've got Minecraft this Thursday. Um, I don't remember what we're actually going to be doing this Thursday in Minecraft, but uh, hey, I'm there for the ride. I've been uh, following my stream on Tuesday, I've been going back to that world, and uh, I've already made some uh, pretty nice progress in my equipment. <laughs> um, and I'll have mending on my decent sword, my like, it's like looting three if, and something else three sword, and I've got mending on my silk touch um, pickaxe so uh, yeah <laughs> and I managed to fish up another of the same like really good fishing world I've got so you know I basically won that world in terms of equip getting good equipment <laughs> but that you know that's just my own personal save file but yeah that's as far as I'm aware, that's that's the streaming plans going forwards. Yeah, crosscode continuing to the end of the main story. Then there will follow a break where Shadow Generations will take the main stage. I don't know when that will be. Whether that will be this year, next year, not a clue. 
Um, so <laughs> we will uh, see. We will basically, you know, as I have been, I'll be basically just taking it as it comes, you know, eyeballing it basically. Hard. It's it can be hard to know how long things will take as well in a game like this, where it's like it's partly obviously how long a story thing will take, but also partly skill based of how long will it take me to do the, you know, will the combat take me a while, will I get stuck there, will I die lots of times, will I forget how to do puzzles, that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Shadow Generations will probably be a little more meticulously planned because it's a shorter game. <laughs> so uh, yeah. And then once Shadow Generations is done, depends on how long that takes, but uh, They'll either follow something else before going back to crosscode, like I did this time, or it'll go straight back to crosscode. I don't know. That's too far in the future for me to plan out right now. And obviously I know, Ben, you mentioned it at the end of your uh, stream, but uh, five year anniversary is next year. I have not made any plans yet. I should probably plan something because five years is a big milestone. I'll think of something. <laughs> Anyways. I'm really rambling right now. I've been rambling for about 15 minutes. I think that's as good a sign as any that it's time to sign off for the evening. So, go to the right page. Thank you for watching. As always, whether you've been here for the whole stream, part of the stream, chatted, lurked, it is very appreciated. I am very, very happy to be back with CrossCode, and I hope that uh, you are happy to. Uh, Happy for it to be back too, and that you will see this ride through. Um, so yeah, upcoming streams, hopefully cross code this Tuesday, and Minecraft on Thursday, and uh, most likely nothing next Sunday. But that will uh, that will confirm on Discord when I know for sure. <laughs> Is there anything going on? could go into... not really, no. Cool, so we'll just uh, finish there then. So thanks again for watching and have a good rest of your day.